Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Image, and we're going to talk a little bit about like creating and collage for like a website and making that kind of imagery, uh, and and some of the cool uses of the Blend Diff tools. What I've got here, if I turn this off and I turn this off, I've just got a solid layer of black. Really, it's like big long paper, and it's a paper is good because it's a good medium sized uh, starting format. Um, but I'm going to have to scale this up and down. I'm making a landing page for a website. Uh, don't get too excited. I don't have a whole lot of plans for it yet. But I do need some sort of a website for a bunch of different things I can catch up on later. Anyway, so uh, I hit this uh, solid layer. So to create that solid layer, all you have to do is go to this little button here and go to solid layer. And then just pick your color. And I want it to be jet black. And then so uh, I've imported this image here. So I went to raw image. And... Uh, I clicked on that and then you can go through and import images. Vegas gives me some promotional stuff too because I uh, you know, work with them. So uh, I don't work for Vegas. I do work with them. So that might not be the perfect legal way to say it. I am a Vegas affiliate. I mean, that's a way to say it, I guess. So um, the reason this blends so well is because uh, I have this already set up to where this image is like the black behind it is as black as can be. I worked very hard to edit it to where the blacks were very flat black. Uh, so the um, uh, so this giant image of my face here, it always looks like it's blended perfectly because just the black behind it blends with the black in front of it. So um, I just kind of want to do something, maybe put my face there mysteriously. I don't know. I'm still kind of experimenting. I don't actually like having my face all over everything, but it's cheap branding. Nothing is more unique and cheap branding than your face. So I've imported this little Vegas image here that uh, they have uh, given me, which has got a black background and it just says Vegas in all caps in their format. And um, this is going to be a landing page for my affiliate links. And I just want to, you know, remind everybody what they're buying. And so this, uh, I thought it might be cool. I was trying to think about where to put it, but you see it's got this black background. So this is where you use a blend if tool. So uh, with the blend if tool, let's say I put it about right here. What I want it to do is I want it to blend, uh, I want this part to go away and show the background, but I want the background to be in front of it in some, in some scenarios where I want my hair in front of it. So that creates an interesting scenario where I want it to be kind of in the middle. I want part of it to be behind this image, but I want part of it to be in front of this image because if I just move it behind, it's gone because, uh, you know, I can show you here, the image, this image stops right there, right? So if I put it behind it, it's gone. If I put it in front of it, the black does the nice black blending, but it covers up my face. So here's where blend if comes in. It's super awesome. So we go to this blending layers, go to blend if, and it's already done, but I'll redo it. With the blend if, you can do two things. I've talked about this before, but this is a better practical example and how kind of collaging uh, for backgrounds and stuff works in Vegas Image. So, um, this is cool because with this blend if it has the this layer and the underlying layer the this layer is neat because you just take this top right here and see that's the blacks and that's the brights. so it's all done by a luminosity key so uh how luminous it is how bright it is will depend on where it gets cut off so you can see until because it's just white and black i can cut all the way up uh, and you can do it in a gradient too i can cut all the way up to the very white of white here and it doesn't matter because the black of the image has been cut through it's been gone that has been blended out because I've said don't include anything that's not super bright white so that easily includes the very bright white letters but now this is where it gets neat the underlying layer I can say to include the underlying layer I want the underlying layer blending if it's bright so you can take the underlying layer and start bringing up some of the hair follicles behind it to where only the black is behind it and the hair is starting to show up over it. So that's super neat um, that you can, and then you can also change the opacity of it too to where it can be all see-through while you're doing this, like partially see-through and then doing it. Uh, but that is a, a good example of just like how to make a little basic collage, right? How to, how to do something where you get some depth in your imagery um, you get everything looks cohesive, right? All I've done is just throw a couple different pictures on here, but it looks cohesive as a, a format because um, it's all the same color. So if you're, if you're doing a collage, remember color schemes and blend diff, really good ways to 
kind of make website backgrounds, kind of bring a bunch of images together to create that sort of a poster feel. So thank you so much for watching. Like this video, help you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. This was just a short one about Vegas Image. we got lots more Vegas tutorials coming out shortly. Uh, I'm in the middle of about five different things right now. Uh, mostly a lot of them to do with this channel, but uh, probably better left for like a blog post or something. Uh, so I will talk to you guys soon. More tutorials coming out this week.